All right, guys, the information is in. The reload is reporting that the ATF has come out with a number of people who have taken advantage of the amnesty for the e-forms. Now, let's remember, the ATF put the number of the pistol braces out there between about 3 million to 7 million. The Congressional Research Service put it somewhere between about upwards of 30 to 40 million devices. Drum roll, please. How many people registered? ATF is saying about 250,000. If you're doing the math at home, let me do the lawyer math for you. In other words, I look forward to being corrected down in the comment box below. Yes, we're looking at somewhere between about 0.6% upwards to 8%. So we're seeing single digit compliance or even aspiring to be single digit compliance. That's what we're seeing here. Now, of course, I say compliance. There are other ways of complying, though I seriously doubt 30 million people destroyed their firearms or turned them into ATF. I've seen nothing like that come out, heard nothing like that come out. Is it possible that a lot of people have also separated the devices and jumped through all those hoops? Yeah, I suppose anything's possible. But this really looks like a formula for mass non-compliance. That's what looks like happening. And guys... This shouldn't be a surprise because the exact same thing happened when it came to butt stocks. Tons of butt stocks were out there. Bump stocks, butt stocks, bump stocks. I'm on vacation, guys. It is what it is. And by the way, please thank my wife who I'm watching get ravaged by mosquitoes on the other side of the screen. Um, Jen in the comment box below. So I appreciate that. Here, I'm going to I'm gonna get this mosquito crawling on her finger. There we go. So guys, 0.6%. Um, 0.6% to 8%. This is where we are at. All right. So again, there are other ways that somebody could be complying other than doing the e-form. But um, I, we, of course, we've talked about the FPC, the GOA, the Second Amendment Foundation, the FRAC lawsuit, the Brito Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty lawsuit, all these great lawsuits that are out there. We, are, of course, know that Mach Garland, courtesy of the Firearms Policy Coalition, is in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. Remains to be seen, of course, where that winds up going. But guys, this has to be going to the Supreme Court. And it looks like FPC may be the bell of the ball who gets to be the ones that, that go there and lead the charge. So if you haven't already done so before, some for some reason, if you haven't done so before, please, please, please join FPC, join Gun Owners of America, join the GOA. Fantastic organizations who are fighting for your rights and my rights both. Post up your comments. I'll keep the updates coming as long as you guys feel like you're getting some of it. Oh, I'm going to help Jen out. They're, they're, they're getting the back of our hand. So um, I, I know that uh, I'm going to owe her for this one. So, guys, really appreciate you sticking around this long. Be sure to click like if you want to see more updates. We've got one more day up north. Ooh, getting hit. we got one more day up north, and we're back in the office. And I already have ideas for videos based on your comments one for Mr. James B, a common commentator in the comments section below. So guys, I do read those. I do check those out. Please click like, help us in the algorithm, help us get our videos out there, help the message get out there. My name's Tom Grieve, former state prosecutor, criminal defense attorney. Thanks for sticking around this long. Hit subscribe. Make sure you don't miss any of our other videos, including ones where maybe I'm not being eaten alive by mosquitoes. We will see you in the next one. Thank you very much.